don't know if you watched this series of these 30 by 40 paintings that I did, but this is a shot of them all together. They're sort of like a little sibling family. I like them a lot. They're very different, uh, but they all come from the same combination, same genes, same color scheme, just different arrangement. And then I popped a blue frame on that one in the middle because I thought it would look nice with the gold. We had a problem with a couple of them though. Here you'll see on the dark one that we had a, a fruit fly that landed and fought his way to right there before he gave up his struggles. And the same thing happened on this golden one, unfortunately. You see right there, that little guy lost it as well. So I mentioned that I might try to touch them up because I feel like they're slightly ruined the way they are. Luckily, this beauty was not disturbed and I like it the best. Not just because it doesn't have a fruit fly in it, but because it's gorgeous. So yay, glad that one survived. Um, so today I'm gonna start with this one and see if I can touch that spot up. All right, so here's my setup. I've got the painting. This is the area that I need to touch up. I've got a an assortment of brushes that I think are about the size that I need. I've got a little bit of my shimmery colors because I think that's all I'm going to need and I'm just going to touch it up and hope for the best. So I was just sort of checking the shot to see if you could see the right place. And a stupid fruit, fruit fly just flew right in front of the screen here, like right there. He was like, hey, I'm so done with them right now. Okay, so you can see it is right here. And I've got my cups for, this is iridescent pearl, this is gold and silver. All iridescent. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is just sort of touch up the shimmer to go over the path and hopefully it'll be translucent enough that it won't look like a touch-up and maybe I can smear it out in places where it does. The tricky thing is this stuff dries quite differently than what it looks like at first. I'm not going to be able to talk and do this at the same time because this is not my specialty. I definitely did some painting back in the day. Um, I did my first oil. I started with oil in college. I hadn't even done any acrylic painting ever in my life and I went straight to oil in college uh, by the recommendation of my professor. And I liked it. <clears throat> but um, acrylic dries a lot quicker and does cool stuff. They both have their pros and cons if you've worked with either. Um, the appeal for some with oil, look at me, I said I wasn't going to talk and then I, I'm just going on telling you my life story and theory on paint. Um, so the reason some people like oil is because it doesn't dry quickly and so therefore you can really play around with it and blend it. Uh, if you've ever watched a Bob Ross video, 
you see how he, especially in the background, really just smears it around and blends colors together. That is oil paint that he's using. And it does lovely things, as you can see from all the old masters paintings. Acrylic is a relatively new art material with the invention of plastics because it is a form of plastic, latex, and such. I don't know if you can even see any of this in the camera. I'm just sort of laying in the streaks where a color should smear down through the path to disguise it a little bit. The lights just flickered. Our school is under construction. I hope they don't turn the lights out on me. So I'm starting with some color streaks, and right now I'm just trying to pick up the gold where I see that it should be. And then I'll come in with the silver and the iridescent pearl. And um, after I get them doing their thing, then I might even come in and do like some fake cells. I just hope it doesn't look like stitches once it dries. Hopefully it will lay down and do what it should once it dries. Okay, I think I've got the gold laid in. Now I'm gonna go to the silver. There's not that much silver showing through, so I'm going to try to be sparing with this. Yeah, that's really the only... It's hard to see with the glare. I think I forgot to take a before shot. That was not very smart. Before and after are impossible without a before, but maybe I can get it from the video footage if I didn't. Again, sparing with the silver, I'm going to move on to the iridescent pearl because that seems to be what is mostly going on in this area. That was a little heavy-handed there, but I'll come back and pick up some of it and move it around. Sure. 
It looks so like it doesn't fit right now because the paint looks different after it dries. It's really playing mind games with me, but I know that it has to look like this until it dries. This is definitely an experiment that I'm not gonna do both of them until I see how the first one turns out. Cause I don't wanna ruin both of these. This has been stressing me out. Like, honestly, I've probably had some nightmares about it, to tell you the truth. Like, I, <laughs> when this happened, I was so mad, but in all the videos, I was like, I'll just touch it up later, it's fine. And then, you know, that's some, some ballsy confidence to think that I even can. We'll see. I think I can, I think I can. I, I do, I think I can. <laughs> um, it's just a matter of whether the paint behaves. It's already looking a lot better. I still, I still see it, but I don't know how heavy handed to be because I see it, but like a lot of people were saying, it didn't really bug them to begin with, so I don't want to make it a glaring, obvious repair either, so if I can just disguise it a little bit, back to the gold, I see maybe I need a little more gold, Where, oh, I lost my place, where was I going to put more gold? <sighs> gonna do. Just putting some tendrils above and below to make it not seem like it's all in one spot just in case it is glaringly obvious. The touch-up, just in case the touch-up is glaringly obvious, in case you don't know what it is in my head. This is working. I feel good about it. I do. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. So now I'm just sort of trying to blend in some areas, but then is that just going to look like a line? I almost feel like I need some darker to, that's what I need. I need some dark to streak up in there. So I'm not using silver that much. It's too bad. All right. So I traded out my silver for this micaceous oxide, which is slightly darker but still the iridescent stuff so I can have some tendrils help help with I can't talk and paint I'm sorry um how did Bob Ross do it that's what I needed I needed those dark streaks to break up
So I think that the iridescents are slightly more transparent. <clears throat> they probably have to be to let the metallic shimmer show through a little more. So therefore, that's why I'm choosing to touch up with them rather than the brown or the black. Also sort of running over the gold a little bit just to knock it back some because it was looking a little overwhelming. Trying to change angles occasionally just so I don't miss something. South Central does it like nobody does. This is how we do it. Okay, uh, you guys, I'm gonna show you a close up now, and you're gonna be like, oh, that is so obviously not good. Uh, but I'm hoping as it dries again, we'll feel better about it. Okay, so still wet shot. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Huh. Uh, I feel better about it. Um, whoa, I lost it in the camera. There we go. Um, so now I feel like it looks more like a scar, but I think, oh, see, now you can see without the glare from this angle, uh, you see the milkiness of the touch up paint and I'm hoping that that will get knocked down with time, knocked down with time. It'll evaporate and then the pigment will show through more and it won't look so milky. It'll get darker. So. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera. That's why I use a tripod most of the time. So this is an experiment for sure. Um, but I feel like even if that gold dries so gold that that doesn't work, that either it will blend into the background well enough to call it done, or I could, I could do a transparent glaze over it and tone it down some. So we will see. We'll come back. Oh, sorry. We'll come back and we'll check it out later. 
All right, it's back in the frame and it's almost dry. So, can you spot it yet? I can spot it. But, uh, I don't know. It's a start. It's certainly nothing like that. So, yeah, I don't know. We might come back and do another touch up now that the most of the black streak is covered up. But we're getting there. I think from far away, it doesn't look like it has a huge blemish anymore. And that's the main thing. I think I've saved it. I have a Patreon now as well as a Teespring account. You can support me by becoming a patron or you could buy some merch. There's a banner down below where you can buy t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, kids shirts, also coffee mugs. Also if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell if you want to get notified of my next videos. And as always thanks for watching. Bye.